friends what is up welcome to my youtube channel welcome welcome so i'm here with a surprise video so i don't know why i just had this thought the other day that i would do show a what's in my person video now i will be getting i'm sure that's why you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail or the title um so we'll be getting into that first of all i want to say thank you back thank you back Thank you to all of my current subscribers and people that always keep coming back and commenting and being my friend. Um, I really want to say thank you um, for being here and showing me some love. Um, and if you're new, hey, hit that subscribe button. You will not forget it. Okay, so um, what is up? Okay, so I'm going to get into this purse. What's in my purse? But first, I just want to talk about my day and stuff like that. If you're not interested in that, then you can just skip. I'll try to put the timestamp. So, yeah. So, I went to church today. It is Sunday when I'm filming this. I, well, I try to go to church every Sunday, most Sundays. Um, but, anyway. So, I was really hoping to hear from our, our pastor. He was out of, he wasn't there last week. And to my surprise, he wasn't there this week because I know where he he sits in the front and stuff in the worship, and I didn't see him. I saw another guy, and I was kind of disappointed and stuff before the other guy even spoke. I was like, oh, no, my main pastor isn't there because my main pastor is, um, he's just a really good speaker. He could be, also could be like a motivational speaker. Like, he's just, I always walk away feeling very, very motivated. So, and he's funny. And he, you know, I just, I think that's important for a pastor to, you know, obviously share the word of God, but if they're entertaining and funny, it makes it, you know, so much more fun to watch and listen to. So I saw that there was this other guy that I'm not familiar with. He is part of the church team, but he's just, he doesn't get up and preach that much. Um, oh my gosh, I was so blown away today by the message and it was about... It was about a few different things like fellowship, um, breaking bread with each other, making better fellowship, and praying. And I know I need to do better at praying myself. Is my Texas thing there? Okay. And, you know, so I want to be more of a prayer warrior. And I never really thought to talk too much about prayer before in my past on my channel. But... I really want to share that here. Um, I want to pray for you. I know I've asked people to pray for me or my family before. Um, so, but I want to also be a prayer warrior for other people. Um, so yeah, so if you have any prayers, prayer requests, please list them below. If you do, oh, I just realized that is still up there. If you're wondering why there's toilet paper hanging from my vent, we, it's from our remodeling guy. He was showing us about airflow and hanging up. It's a long story. Anyway, I just noticed that. Forget that. Okay, focus on me. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, it was, I just wanted to share it with you because um, I personally, we all have up and down times and times where we're not feeling that good. And um, I've just kind of been battling my own demons and some depression and personal stuff lately. And I said a prayer before I went to church this morning. And then the whole message about being a prayer warrior and how prayer can change. Um, prayer can he has healing, healing power. And yeah, I just want to share that on my channel. I know not everyone's Christian here, um, but I've never been one person to shy away from my beliefs and my faith. So I thought I would also share that on my YouTube channel. Um, if you have any prayer requests, let me know. I would love to pray for you, add you to my list. I want to get better. I want to be more prayerful. I want to be... I was really encouraged and it just goes to show you like you can get encouragement from different people we've all got every single person on earth has a gift gift and talent has our own unique gifts and talents and we just need to figure out how the best way to share them so I, I, I want to pray for people I want my YouTube channel to be a place of encouragement because I was so encouraged today with the, the preaching um, from Mickey, 
that's his name, the guy that preached today, that I want to bring that to my YouTube channel. So obviously I'm not a pastor or anything like that, but you don't have to be a pastor to pray for someone else or, you know, things like that. So I just wanted to share that. I was um, going to church, hearing that message was just the medicine that I needed. So I'm feeling pumped up for this next week. I hope you are too. Um, having a blessed, gonna have a blessed week. Um, so my dad, I have mentioned him before on my community tab, um, and I think in a video, but he's had some dizzy spells lately. He had gone to the doctor like two or three weeks ago, but I don't, I thought it was a cardiologist he was seeing, but it was somebody else. Um, and anyway, they didn't see anything wrong, but he's still having dizzy spells and he's falling a lot. So it's really, really concerning. So he's going this week to get it checked out even more. Why is he falling so much? Why is he getting dizzy so much? So that is what's going on with my family this week. So yeah, I'll be praying about that. And, but I just wanna be a source of encouragement and pray for anybody. I know our country needs prayer. All of the, you know, mass shootings and to be honest, I'm not even surprised that there was a shooting on the 4th of July at a parade. I was, it's kind of sad when you're expecting that. I don't want to say I was expecting that, but I'm just not surprised anymore. So anyway, yes, I want this place to be a positive place, a place of encouragement and just to join together. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna get into what is in my purse. Excuse my background. I will be decorating this hutch momentarily, but today is not the day. So, okay, I'm gonna share with you what is in my purse. Now, the reason I'm sharing, I wasn't gonna do one of these, these in a, for a while, but actually, let me tell you the story about the purse. So I may have actually already told you, but I, this was actually the last purse my mom was using when she passed away. So that is why I hold on to it. Um, and it has a meaning to me. Now, it's not a very practical purse. It's very heavy and it gets heavy pretty fast. And it's just not, like, like I said, it's not practical because it gets real heavy and it's just like, it gets in the way, you know. But the reason I started to use it is because a, a week or two ago, we wanted to sneak some snacks into the movies. So I put some Dollar Tree, I took this purse out of the closet and put some snacks in here. And then for some reason, I just kept using the purse and just stuffed whatever, when it, you know, whatever in here. So I thought I'd share what is in my black purse. And I believe she got this purse from Ross. That's where she got most of her purses. So, and this is uh, not planned. This is uh, what's in here is going to be a surprise to me because sometimes I do these videos and I kind of got a feeling I know what's in my purse because I'll, I'll share new purses with you. But this one, I don't know. There could be a mouse in here. That would be scary. So let's see what's in my purse. So I'll just pull out like random stuff. It is way too heavy. So pretty much cleaning out my purse with you guys. Um, I got a Brady's Dairy Queen. Oh, I got my meal plan and my grocery list. Um, trash, I got a straw wrapper. I got a McDonald's. Um, I got a caramel frap today. I got a dollar. I got my house keys, little, little house keys. Okay, I got these, um, I believe this is Burger King coupons, yeah. So we use these for like two or three weeks, um, but I think it's expired now. I think it expired the end of June. Yeah, the 26th. But uh, we always pick up these Burger King coupons that come in the mail, I think like once a month. Because a lot of times after grocery shopping, we're hungry, so we stop by Burger King. Um, this is gas. Okay. I got this little pink notepad. I'm trying to remember why I had this in here. Oh, okay, yeah. I was going to Dollar Tree, so I put, I made a little shopping list for Dollar Tree. 
Okay. Oh, this is what I was, got my charger, my iPhone charger. I got this frosted coconut snowball from Bath and Body Works. Let's go ahead and spray. Mm. I always like carry a spray because, you know, uh, yes, there are two stars. Abigail was writing a poem, starting to write a poem. Um, oh, this is the charger to my tablet. Car insurance. This is real. Okay, this is cute. I just threw this in here. This was, this is a little um, coffee notepad. I believe I got that from. Okay, I got cut off in the last, so I'm still gonna finish cleaning out my purse. I'll show you what else is left in my purse. I'll try to do it quickly. Okay, so I gotta cover this, but this is my husband's debit card. And yeah, that's what that is. Next, I have this Flower Beauty makeup bag. I don't think there's any makeup in here though. No, a Dollar Tree receipt for nine dollars. My driver's license. My mace, which I've never had to use, thank God. And some some change. Gosh, I got a bill in here. I got my P.O. box number. I always forget. I always forget to check my P.O. box. Uh, I got my glasses that I'm supposed to be wearing when I drive. I always forget. Um, receipt. Uh, grocery list. Got this pen. I got this Marilyn Monroe thing. Uh, I think I got this from the Rainbow Store. And I know I've showed this before and I what's in my, but I keep like my cards in here and my social security cards in here. And I don't usually carry on my social security card, but I was going somewhere very important and I needed to show it. I've got my car key in here, which is really nice because I never have to get with the new car. I never have to get my car key out. I can just leave it with the new car and it detects that my key is with me. My push start, yeah. I used to lose my car key all the time with the minivan. I got another pen in here. What's this? Oh, I got a Walmart gift card in here. I think I already used it though, it had $60 on it. Yeah. A lot of receipts, y'all. Walmart, y'all know where I shop. Gas station, what is Walmart, Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, this was really good. I forgot where I got this candy, but I got these sugar babies. They're not really good for your teeth. They're really hard, but they do taste good. Uh, the gas station, my dentist. My next appointment is on August 23rd at 8 a.m. Okay. Oh, I got another grocery list. Got it. My house. We got two house keys. One's my husband's and one's mine. Looks like one of Abigail's uh, hair ties. Another of Abigail's hair ties. Walmart. Y'all know I love me some Walmart. I got change. I got trash. Okay, y'all, and that is about it. It is empty. The rest that was in here before were snacks, just some change. So that is what is in my purse. I think I'll be switching purses because this is just too heavy. Like I said, this purse was meant only for going to the movies and putting my snacks in there. So, thank you so much for watching and being my friend. Please let me know if you have any prayer requests. Okay. Um, and I love you guys. Bye-bye.